Hi, you guys. Welcome to Live from the Pastor's Office, although this is the Lord's Office, not my office. Um, and it is a joy to have you with us here in the sanctuary. Um, I'm back. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, I've been in Kenya. Um, and so I wanted to be able to visit with you a little bit about that journey um, and hopefully um, inspire you the way it's inspired me. Um, uh, three, three and a half years ago, I had a conversation with a with a group of uh, dear brothers in Christ who are pastors of the largest churches in the Lutheran Church of Missouri Synod. And we uh, prayed together with the head of Lutheran World Relief about a brand new opportunity that he had on his heart in Kenya. And we prayed about what would it look like if we partnered together with Lutheran World Relief to systemically change the reality on the ground for an entire county in the southern part of Kenya. So we committed it to care and we each committed uh, to $100,000 toward the effort over a three year period of time. And then I came home to you guys and and uh, told you the story and in one weekend we received uh, in a free will offering from you, we received sixty thousand um, dollars, and we sent that off, and work began. Um, and so then, a couple of years later, now I tried to uh, have a free will offering to get the other forty, and I got five. <laughs> and and so I realized that we had lost our momentum, and we hadn't kept up the story and we hadn't known what was going on and so uh, the people were kind of uninspired so I made a decision that uh, I would go um, and the Lutheran World Relief team their executive team went with me Paula and I and Pete and Tammy Bonner uh, from our congregation from our board of directors uh, went with us to discover what God was up to um, with the Isaiah 58 project. Isaiah 58 verses 10 and 11 says this, And if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. The Isaiah 58 Project was born, and I just got back from seeing what God has been accomplishing because we and 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 five or six other congregations gave hundred thousand dollars we're in for 60 so far we need we need to raise the other 40 because there's such amazing stuff happening on the ground that we've now seen let me just let me just tell you what what's been happening um, when we gave this financial resource Lutheran World Relief met that gift with training for 28,000 people, the farmers and their families in Makawina County in southern part of Kenya, just north of Mombasa, um, it was that county that received these financial gifts and then Lutheran World Relief gave them training in terms of the latest farming. The major issue there in that part of the world has to do with both the rain and the soil. There are two rainy seasons and then the rest of the year is completely dry. How do you, how do you raise a crop in the midst of that environment? It's been a great puzzle for a long, long time. Um, and then the other part of that is the soil. There are volcanoes in the in, in the area, active volcanoes, and so there is this lava rock, and the rest of the rock is clay. Um, and so, how do you raise a crop in the midst of that environment? 
Um, and so Lutheran World Relief brought the latest technology and, and began to train these folks that they call lead farmers and, and super lead farmers. The super lead farmer is, uh, is someone who's going to train the rest of the farmers and coach and mentor the rest of the farmers in their CBO, the community-based organization. And in that, in that place, they, uh, they come together like a co-op. Um, and they uh, band together for the sake of uh, whatever kind of farming they're going to do. Are they going to be poultry farmers? Are they going to be crop farmers? What, what are they going to do? What does the environment say? What does their history say? What do they want to do? So Lutheran World Relief has come alongside these folks to train them. And then these people, more than anybody I ever remember giving to, in my life as a pastor, as a part of a congregation, met that gift, the financial gift that you have given and the, and the training that they received with a really amazing work ethic. So let me just tell you a story about one lady that's representative of this whole group of folks. Her name is Joyce. Joyce is a single mom now with six kids. Her husband died of AIDS and left her to fend for herself on this plot of ground um, that's about an acre and a half to two acres. And so Joyce poured in and received this training from Lutheran World Relief and received the resource that you gave. And the first thing that she did is that she dug what you and I would probably call uh, a reservoir. She dug a pool. <laughs> uh, think Olympic-sized swimming pool. She dug a pool, and it took her three months, her and her kids, to dig this pool. It's like, it's like 20 yards long, 10 yards wide, 8 feet deep. And they dug this pool by themselves so that in the rainy season, the rain would come in, and then we provided a liner for the pool so that, so that it would capture the water and keep it. So that then in the dry season, the other resource that we provided for her was a hand pump and hose so she could pump the water up out of the pool and to the, and to the place where she had planted her crop. She, she then began to dig these zia pits, is what it's called, zia pit. And a zia pit is about uh, this long, about this wide, three feet down. Dig all the dirt out of it, replace the, replace the lava and the clay with, um, with, oh gosh, with, um, oh, I can't think of the word now. Uh, replaced it with uh, the, the malt compost, thank you, compost. Uh, replace it with compost and then put a layer of dirt back good dirt back over the top and then she would plant in the zia pit and water in the zia pit her and her kids dug 800 of these zia pits um, and then and then the dry season came and she could irrigate and by our gift god used that opportunity to train her and it increased her harvest by over 50%. Joyce went from being one week to one month food secure to having food security over the course of an entire year to be able to feed her family. And then, and then we show up and the thanksgiving and the rejoicing and the giving thanks to God for our gift and for our support and for Lutheran World Relief and their staff was just overwhelming. We saw Peter, a similar story. We saw uh, seven schools, public schools that are giving thanks and glory to God in the entire county whose middle school kids are doing Zia pits now. And, and there are other people who are doing greenhouses in these CBOs, community-based organizations. And their lives will never be the same again. We now need to 
come through. Um, and we need to finish the other 40. There is need there based on what we said we would do. There is need based on what they would love to do yet. But we need to pour into these people um, and meet that need so that they can so that they can continue this journey that God has given to them. God has used you to make a difference in the world for Christ. In Kenya, in about seven hours south of Nairobi, um, in Makawina County, uh, these community-based organizations have come together and they have become like co-ops where these people from beginning to end have been trained how to how to do crop management in the environment where they are how to how to do how to how to take the gifts that have been given and and bring them all together for the sake of community based organization and its banking and its financing and how to find consistent markets for their produce and for their poultry and for their eggs and for the meat there are so much story and blessing. I want to be able to give you an opportunity. The first two weekends in February, we're going to do a free will offering. Um, my hope is that we'll get at least 40 so that we can continue to move this thing forward. Uh, if we get more than that, we can, buy a, we can buy a grinder, for example, so that these people who raise their own crop can grind into seed that which they can feed to their chickens on their own. Uh, it's about a $2,000 purchase price for the sake of really raising them up another step. There's, a, there's another group of folks who are doing these greenhouses and they're raising tomato plants and it's amazing what they've accomplished. Uh, they would love to be able to do another one another greenhouse that's about a five to an eight thousand dollar purchase price so if we can meet our commitment that it was before and we can go above and beyond that we can pour in even more and continue to make a difference in the world for christ so my prayer is that you'll join me um, and that you will give of yourself over these next couple of weekends to help what god has begun and what god is inspiring uh, both at home and, and, and around the world, and using you to get it done. Have a great day in the Lord.